there, this is Gina from hauntedflower.com and hauntedflowerreviews.com and today I've got some more DVD Blu-ray reviews for you. In fact, there are so many coming out on Tuesday, June 28th that I've actually had to split it up into two videos because otherwise I wouldn't be able to talk about them all without it being like pff, a million minutes long. So today we're going to be talking about Sucker Punch on Blu-ray DVD digital copy, this documentary called Erasing David. And this one, called Tetsuo the Bullet Man. First, let's get to the goods. Sucker Punch. Zack Snyder, who brought us Legends of the Guardians and 300, and has this like crazy directing style that involves slow motion action, uh, brings to us Sucker Punch. And it stars like five women, Emily Browning, Abby Cornish, Jamie Chung, Jenna Malone, and Vanessa Hudgens, as these women who are in a mental institution. And in their way of coming to grips with it, dealing with their situation, they devise a plan of escape that involves a fantasy world where they fight lots of stuff. This one was one of the movies I was anticipating the most this year just because it looked so darn cool. And I ended up being a little disappointed with the execution, but upon further viewing with the extended cut here, I actually like it better. In the extended version, um, that whole sequence, the love is a drug music video that takes place during the credits, that actually is in the movie. It's supposed to illustrate like a time where you could see how the brothel uh, kind of operated in a fun way before it starts getting really dark. You also get a whole extra scene with John Hamm, uh, who plays the doctor and also the high roller. You get to see him as the high roller in the brothel talking with Baby Doll, and they come to an arrangement. Those are the main bits that make up the 17 minutes of extra footage. What is really awesome is I love maximum movie mode. It is my favorite bonus feature ever. It can make any movie more interesting, like Clash of the Titans. But for this one, it's really cool because it explains a lot of things, shows a lot of things going on behind the scenes. The director is always talking with you, and there are always opportunities for you to hit a button and look at still galleries, which are actually really cool and well done. There are a lot of things in this movie that were really ambiguous, and he basically points out, hey, that's exactly what I wanted it to be, which... I kind of wanted him to just give a straight answer, but at least it explains why he made the movie the way he did. You also get four animated shorts that explain the worlds that the fantasy worlds that the girls go and fight in. Basically, they're setting it up why there are giant samurai that Baby Doll is fighting, why there are crazy Nazi zombie things. So there is Sucker Punch behind the soundtrack, which I, was one of the things I really liked best about this movie was the music. And you get to find out how many of the songs Emily Browning actually sang in herself, which are several, and she's really talented. And I really love the music in this movie. The next movie is Erasing David. This is a documentary from David Bond. He uh, realized that our lives are very public on the internet. Whoa! And uh, he lives in England, and he just is very concerned about how much information can be found out about himself online, and decides he's going to go disappear for 30 days, hide from everyone, and see if he can actually do it. He hires two private investigators to track him. He tries to go off the grid by using cash, favors from old friends, escaping to different countries since they're all so close together. One of the biggest problems is that he has a pregnant wife and child at home. The film hops back and forth between what's happening when he's on his journey to what happened six weeks ago that made him think of this, what happened to him eight weeks ago that made him think about this, interviews with different people. A lot of it's just kind of... Well, no duh. Some of his clips sound so paranoid, like he'll be hiding in the dark somewhere. If I live in this farmhouse with no electricity, I'm sure they won't find me here. Oh, but, but what if they thought of this? Oh no, if I call them back, will they know where I am? It's interesting, but it's a little neurotic. For bonus features, there is a Q&A panel where the filmmakers are talking to people and there are some short films and you can see the full length interviews with some of the people he interviewed for the film and the trailer. Eh, it's okay. I don't really recommend it. It's pretty common sense stuff. Next is a film by Shunya Sakamoto called Tetsuo the Bullet Man. This is a genre of films that I do not often watch. It is kind of a, um, I think it wants to be a Japanese horror, but it's more of a Japanese sci-fi and unfortunately a laughable one at that. 
Uh, you have uh, a main character, Anthony, who is American with a Japanese wife and their child. And their child gets in a really bizarre auto accident. Like, there were apparently hitmen out to get this tiny boy. And then this guy freaks out so much, and he was exposed to something, and transforms into a bullet man! He seriously develops a metallic exterior, and can deflect bullets, and shoot them out of his chest with like a machine gun that pops out. It's so weird. Wife is kind of crazy, she's always like, we have to kill the men that killed Tommy, and... And he's like, well, now I'm a bullet man, so I could probably do that better. And she looks at him like, maybe we should, like, you know, conceive a child while you're a bullet man so it would be indestructible. And I'm like, what? This movie is just weird. And it's a level of weird where... I <sighs> If I was sitting in a room laughing at it, maybe it would have been watchable, but I was really trying to get into it, and I couldn't. It was... I just did not think this movie was good. It was bad. Stay away. Obviously, my pick of the week, if you were going to go find something to watch, would be Sucker Punch. It's not as amazing and well thought out as I hoped it would be, but it's better than this stuff, and it's actually really cool with all the features, and I love Maximum Movie Mode. It's the best. So, thank you for watching my DVD Blu-ray review stuff for this week, and I'll see you next time. Bye! For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. Our store is hauntedflower.com, where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes. 